In this video, we're diving into styling your blocks with intention, using colors, backgrounds, and many other design elements to transform any document into something beautiful, expressive, and uniquely yours. Let's start with my reading book tracker document. While the structure of my content is in place, some of the styling elements are missing. So let's add those in to make them more visually engaging and personal. To get started, let's click on the paintbrush icon in the right sidebar. This is where you'll find most of the tools needed to style your documents. Let's begin by exploring our style gallery. If you don't like creating your own custom designs from scratch, you can always choose one of Craft's pre-made designs, which is great for giving your document an instant upgrade with minimal effort. For this document, I'd like to add a background to give it more visual texture. You can choose between a solid color, a faded gradient, uploading your own image, or selecting one from Unsplash. In this case, I'll pick an image from Unsplash. Let's go with, say this one. And just like that, the entire feel of the document is now elevated. Next, let's add a document color. Let's try out this burgundy color first, but I think it actually feels a little heavy for this layout. So instead, let's go with the soft cream tone. This complements the backdrop nicer. You can use the sliders to adjust the brightness for lighter or darker colors. Now let's update the text color to tie everything together. Let's go with this warm burgundy color again for a cozy vibe. You'll notice the change applies to all text across the entire document instantly. However, I would like the top section of this document to really pop. So let's apply some extra decoration styles from our format tab. I'll use the focus style and apply the block decoration to give it more presence on the page. Then I'll adjust the block color to make it stand out even more. There we go. Simple, clean, and visually striking. In just a few clicks, we've transformed a plain reader tracker into a personalized, polished, and inspiring document. Now let's take a look at another document. I've created a bridal shower invitation for my friend, Emily. While it looks pretty, there's a few styling details that could use some improvement. So first, let's adjust the alignment of the entire document. Hold down shift and select all the blocks you'd like to update. Then head over to the Format tab and choose Center Align. That looks so much better already. Now let's change the font style to match the tone of the invitation. I'll select this one. It's such an elegant choice. Next, let's add a cover image to set the visual tone. Just like before, you can upload your own image or choose from Unsplash. I'll search for a style that fits this invitation and say, let's go with this one. Now this gives a much more polished bridal shower tone to our theme. However, this document still feels like it needs more visual structure. So let's add some separators. You can find several types of separators in craft, including line separators, which are available in four thickness levels from subtle to bold dividers, doodles, which offer hand-drawn charm, and by clicking on the same doodle multiple times, you can see alternative styles. This is personally my favorite separator. And lastly, washi tapes. Inspired by traditional Japanese washi designs, you can choose from the gallery or upload your own image. Craft will turn your image into a custom washi tape design which also comes in different widths. Let's start by adding a bold line separator here, followed by a couple lighter ones below to break things up. Now I'll switch them to a doodle style to give the layout a more playful and creative feel. Now let's add some gradient colors to make key parts of the text stand out. Simply highlight the text, click on the highlight tool, and choose a gradient color from the available options. I'll apply a gradient here, and let's add one to Emily's name too, like this gold tone to make it really nicely pop. This will add just the right amount of emphasis in our document. Now the invitation looks complete, and I love how it turned out. 
so much so that I want to use it again in the future. So let's save it as a custom style. Now it's saved as a reusable style for any future document. If you'd like this style to be your go-to for new documents, you can set it as your default style. And that's it. Now you've mastered styling and visual storytelling. Up next, we're diving into daily notes and how to personalize them to match your routine and mindset.